But yeah, welcome to the stream. Let's, uh... Okay, that's a good sign that's working. I've never played this before, just for reference. And it's been requested that I check out retro games. And since I got my Nintendo 64 modified to do HDMI output, here we are. It seems 10% too loud, does it? Okay, one sec. Yeah, one thing that was definitely apparent that it was too loud, so hold on. Uh, let's try that. Uh, let me know. Hopefully that's better. For some reason, this is just... If I was to go 100% volume, is it, it is extremely loud. So much louder than the Switch, so... I just have to remember the number I take it down to. I think this should be okay. Yeah, I mean, we can adjust it as time goes, but I think looking at the volume bars, it, it should be okay. Probably a, a good test here because uh, there's a lot going on music-wise. So... Okay, hold on. But yeah, uh, did not have a Nintendo 64 growing up, did not play this game, nor have I played it, uh, since it came out, but I do have a copy of it. When I decided to get an N64 and play some stuff, I was like, yeah, I'll get this. Just never got around to it. <laughs> so here we are. Um. The audio docking's helping, alright, cool. Yeah, I did set that up, so... Hold on, my headset's being a bit of a dick right now. Why is it being a dick? There we go. Okay. It's alright, once I know the good setting, then we won't have to do this again. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, this is the image quality coming out of the console, which is, is pretty decent. Considering, yeah. It doesn't have much in terms of settings. It has a sharpness filter, so it removes the Nintendo 64's um, blurring effect, which was common. Dingpot, dingpot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Yes, you're right. I am rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Eh, but there is this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Oh no, they're gonna talk in rhymes the whole time. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of them all. A nicer beauty can't be had. You'll find Tootie, it's cute and, oh, yeah. Sorry, I was just looking at my phone because I got a message. Well, we'll see about that. When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure! Two! <laughs> Just give the bird this annoying voice. Hurry! Wake up! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks. And ugly she'll be. 
Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need a bigger... You soon need bigger underwear? What? Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help. Banjo, wake up! Now! <laughs> oh, 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 what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. Okay. I'm going around in a circle just testing the controller as well. Because I got a few, but I remember one of them kind of had a jank analog stick, so... I think this one's okay. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sided mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie. The ugly witch, Gruntilda, swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want to want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're all ready. Good enough. I mean, I've never played this, so... We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look f out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. Kazooie kind of sounds like the Lizalfos when they're teasing you in the uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. Okay, so it's like Mario. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all worm breath? No. Hold R to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next mole hill. Is this the original N64 version? It is, yeah. Um, I'm playing this on a real Nintendo 64. I got it modified with HDMI output, so I'm taking it for a test spin. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving. Slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's a top <laughs> carrot. <laughs> Welcome, Banjo. Oh, nice. Hey, I want some moves. Despite being modified for HTML output, the fuzziness looks almost indistinguishable from playing it off a CRT. It's weird. It is, yeah. This, I think that like uh, the capture has some filters that applies it to try and make it as real as it was before. So I like it. It also has an interlacing option, so you can output it with interlacing. 
Stop brawling, I feel sick. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the ratatata rap by jumping and pressing B in the air. Now where's... what? Colly Wobbler? Oh. <laughs> These sounds. Hmm. And yet the text is is not blurry either. That's that's the part that is is kind of a bit. You learned all of the basic attacks now. See you around. A knot. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Bah. I mean, Kazooie is just behaving like an Australian bird, so I'm gonna give him the voice of it. Oi! Hey! <laughs> Oi! Dickhead! Get over here! I'm still sticky ta- what? Okay. I've done that one. And I'm very happy with this. Um... So, there's a few N64 games I want to play that I own. Sadly, Paper Mario I don't own, and finding a European slash Australian version of it is just insanely expensive. Just uh, unbelievably expensive. It's just a shame the N64 is region locked. At least I've got some lag short stuff. Hold Z, then press B for a powerful beaky... Okay. Yeah, it's just the cartridge as well. No, but like, if you're curious, have a look at Paper Mario, the PAL version, how much it costs on eBay, compared to the... Can't you swap out the backplate on cartridges? No, it's, so it's more than... So some of the region locking used to be just, um, the shape of the cartridge. Right? So, like, um... For the Super Nintendo, all you had to do was just clip some pins on the back of the... On the inside of the case. And then that would be all you needed to do. But this is... It's got something... Yeah, I think it's got something to do with the clock cycle. It just doesn't work. There's some technical reason. I'm not a technical technical person when it comes to console hardware, but I do know that this is in the era where PAL and NTSC had a very strong difference. PAL to N NTSC can work, like in the NES era, there were a few releases where the PAL region got the NTSC release and because they were just lazy, and it worked fine. But I believe, if I'm not wrong with this one, there's just something inherently uh, restricting. Yeah, Japan and the US are essentially the same, they're NTSC standard, so it was fine. But I believe you need a separate hardware mod to be able to run NTSC games on a PAL console, and vice versa. I'm not, tell me about flying, brother. Not yet, Banjo. Jump onto a tree. Then use the control stick to climb up and down. Wait. Oh, there we go. Have I played Sin and Punishment? Uh, I haven't got the Nintendo 64 expansion thing or the Switch expansion thing because I just don't think it's worth the money. Like, I'd be getting it just for the retro stuff, because the, uh, the DLC. There's no games that I really play on a frequent basis that'd be like, okay, the DLC aspect of it is, is worth it for me. So, yeah. I don't think it's worth the price for me.
Plus, yeah, I've been heavy on the Zelda stuff. This is probably the first non-Zelda game I've played in a couple months. <laughs> Guess not. But I'm happy that this works well. This is the only console I couldn't hook up to the HDMI capture, so... Now that's resolved. Ben's learning to swim underwater, yes. Sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans. Spicky! <laughs> Use a control stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press B to dive. But it didn't go all the way in, though. Hang on. Oh, no, now it works. I'm impressed with the controls so far. It seems slightly better than what Mario 64 was. I especially like the hold the button. I mean, while it's not perfect, having the camera follow you from behind, that's, that's neat. It's not too uncomfortable. What was that? Yeah. This is the era where Rare just, uh, their games were collector thoughts. Yeah, I want to do more retro stuff. I have the capability to play basically anything now. I just need copies of the said games. Your jump could do with some help. Ah, what do moles know about jumping? More than you know. Press A to jump, hold it to jump higher. Okay. Uh, sir, why am I stuck? Oh, okay, because it just wanted me to jump. Come on, Feathers, give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly, I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. That's it, we're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold Z and press A for the mighty fl flat flip jump. <laughs> Back flip, okay. That's it, you've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain and I'll tell you what to do next. Oh, come on. I gotta get used to this analog stick. <laughs> oh, expect me to fall down very often here. Can't, can I just... Hang on. There we go. Top of the mountain. Hey. 
Ah. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be like an expert level playthrough. By any means. The, the first 3D games that I played properly were on the PlayStation, so... I mean, damn. By comparison, this, this control screen scheme is great. Like, I played Croc. And that was tank controls. <laughs> it, was not, it was not great. Croc was fun, though, but just... The tank controls, yeah. Not as uh, smooth as this. having one button to just lock the camera, that's good. I feel very tempted to go back and play some of those early 3D games that I played, so like Croc, Gex, um, I mean Crash was one of them, but Crash was different. It's kind of in its own league. There's another one I played called Jersey Devil, which was, uh, man. <laughs> I kind of liked it, but people used to shit on it a lot. I think... I can't do this yet. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, that last jump, I'm going to fall in. Wait, this... <laughs> Look out for me, I'm an extra, an extra life. Okay. Permanent or just... Once off. Okay, let's get to the top of the mountain now. I think this would have made an excellent candidate to do a re-release on the 3DS, but I guess in this era, because um, Rare being bought by Microsoft, that that's the reason it probably never eventuated. Hold on guys, you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are, show us the way, battle boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. I love how she can barely fit. Okay. I'm told will make me young and too the old. Let me get you, fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly... <laughs> I was about to read something else. Banjo! Help. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Did anyone else like it surely this is this is a nod to Mero. I wonder how many people tried to jump in the painting. Puzzle piece. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Uh -huh. <laughs> a 
picture with a piece missing. So like... Oh yeah, no, there we go. That's the first person. Okay, got it. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great. To fill in the missing space on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. That's it. The picture is complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. <laughs> I cut her off, it's okay. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. Things... Wait, things a bit supply, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. I mean... I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Whoa. So this is like the hundred coin thing. I mean, I was prepared to collect a lot of stuff. You save me. Gruntildo has imprisoned five of us gingos on each world. Pray us all to get a jiggy. Getting jiggy with it. <laughs> oh no. No one's gonna understand. Well, you know what? It fits the time period because getting jiggy with it would have been not too far off the release of this game. What the fuck are you? Me Mumbo Token. Use for mumbo or something. How many things am I collecting? That's like five different ones already. Oh, that's to leave. Okay. Counts as your best note score. Try to get a hundred on. Yeah, I didn't know that that was a way to leave. My bad. Do I have to get them again? <laughs> okay. Didn't really lose much progress. Where's Mumbo? <laughs> the amount of collectibles.
Ah! I mean, I'm just being stubborn here. There we go. There's always a way. I wonder if I can keep doing that to climb up. Let's see. Nah. Uh, but it got up there, so that's fine. Okay, just ignore that hill. Another Jinjo. Wasn't much of a record. Another title that I want to try at some point is Conker's Bad Fur Day, but that's another one of those ones that's just difficult to find. But I don't think it's as hard as Paper Mario. <laughs> okay, good, that worked. <laughs> I can't. Oh no, it's only temporary. <laughs> this just reminds me of Jack and Daxter. Okay, no, let's just leave it. That's a bad idea. Go away, leave my honeycombs all alone. <laughs> just fucking annihilate the, uh, living bee bee home? I don't know what it is, but you know. Just get annihilated. I don't know why I'm trying to get this. I'm associating it with a coin, but it's not a coin. to you. <laughs> I call this the big buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Ah, I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Ness girl. You'll be using it a lot. We juju mumbo totems will feed us with nice blue stones. Blue stones? You must be searching for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Okay. Yeah, see, I feel like they should have started with that. Instead of me accidentally stepping on it and leaving the world. Blue stones, huh? Hmm. 
the Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. Okay. Go uh -huh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I know this is still Tutorial Island, but... Okay, first note door is ready. Thought so. A lot of this stuff is just gonna be... Make sure you move the camera enough. Another collectible. What is this? Where the eggs Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. It's not collectible. Ugly. No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Ugh. Do I have to use this? Okay. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. I mean, that's a pretty strong little bird. The camera isn't quick enough. It <laughs> should slow down. There we go. Ah! Oh. No, okay, apparently that one's not doable. Try one more time. Yeah, no. Let's look at camera. Wait, can I go? That's better. Okay, so there's stuff above, but there's no hole or anything. All right. So this. Ha <laughs> 
I don't know what it means by the stones. now is what's in the tree. I think. And these note doors, where are the note doors? Oh, you know what? The skull door is another thing I haven't gone into. Get up! It's just quicker to use this. This should be the default. <laughs> so much quicker. There's low, there's no limit on it, so... I don't see this as a downside. If there was no jumping, it would make a bit more sense. Zoe is now the main character. <laughs> Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and filthy feathered one. <laughs> Watch it, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign, bring more. I'm taking your notes though. I mean, it's probably going to be behind something. I'm just going to check here real quick. There's the upper part of the tree, but I'm not sure how to get in there. Hang on, there's platforms over there. <laughs> this Congo's tree, me hit bear with oranges. Don't touch Congo's blocks. Gonna touch the blocks. Gah, clever bear, fine Congo's gold. Can I shake the tree? No? Okay. 
That was one big bear. Chimpy hungry wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Oh, there we go. Hey! That conga's orange. Put it back. Yum, oranges are nice. Oh. Chimpy like Congo's orange. Chimpy help fat bear and <laughs> bird. I don't think, I don't know, I don't think Banjo's fat. Just these unrealistic bear standards. What's that? No oh, it's you. Me safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. <laughs> Sheesh. Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Bird Brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Well, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. I love how the eggs I, co I collected are rather inconsequential. It's <laughs> <laughs> vomiting eggs. Ah! Really? Ah, bear beat Conga. I mean, give price to bear. All these things Kazooie's eating. I mean, I guess it doesn't make too much sense for the eggs to come out of the mouth. That's the one that makes less sense. Oh, there's the skull. Quality platforming. <laughs> On top of the actual mountain itself, outside or inside? Ha! 
Hang on, how do I get up there? Hey, Clive, thanks for the raid. How's it going? How's the uh, rest of Zelda? Did you make it to the Rito village? Going great. Almost to Rito Village. Yeah, I know that feeling. Any any target I've set. Like, I was meant to go to the Elden area for the last two days. I still haven't gotten there. Oh, man. It happens. Okay. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. Everyone is talking at you off about that town. Yeah, because that whole area, once you uh, do the quest, the main quest, that's where your opinion of the game might change a little. What? <laughs> what? Mumbo's magic free. Come back when you're. What? The fuck? Pretty good. How about myself? Doing okay. It's just playing this now. But, uh, yeah, the Nintendo 64 is working pretty well. What? what? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> it's just... Why? I may have missed why. Why not? I, I guess. But what's the good? It's... Change the bird... And the bear into a single termite? How does that work? <laughs> like the aspect ratio? Yeah, I have to keep it like this. I can't, I can't play stretched. But the graphics look good. I mean... For those who don't know, I, I got my Nintendo 64 modified so it can do HDMI output. And it looks pretty damn good. so confused as to why. Can I climb tree? Is... No? Can I eat tree? Why am I a termite? I don't... Just... Acquire Mumbo magic. Mumbo refuses to say why. pressing buttons and it doesn't look like there's any move it's just I'm, I'm just a termite for some reason <laughs> okay there was a puzzle piece here so let me try and get it oh maybe this okay maybe this is the answer Okay, it, it made that easier. Okay, I see some benefit to this. I still don't know what to do about this, though. And then there's a matter of this. Because from what I could see from the inside of the tree, there's an upper area. 
like, look. So there's definitely stuff in there, I'm just not sure how to get there yet. The sound effects made you instantly extra happy. This game, I assume, brings a lot of nostalgia. I mean, I'm liking it so far, I do like the controls. I was saying, compared to some of the early 3D games I played as a kid, um, excluding Crash Bandicoot, because that had good controls. But, Croc, Gex, uh, this other one called Jersey Devil, they did not have good control schemes. Croc was tank controls, and Gex's camera was, like, janky. Oi, turn me back. What? Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe that puzzle piece I got, that was the only way to get it, but I'm still confused. I thought what I got there was going to resolve this. doesn't work. Okay, so the only thing I haven't done is to the top of this tree. Can I just climb it? No. That's the only thing I haven't resolved. This is going to be something minor and obvious and I'm going to hate it. I would like to try and 100% this game, but... Let's see. Is there anything I can see? I, I just can't see a way to get above it. What? Do it all in one day? That's not gonna happen. I'll be splitting this up. Because I still want to play Zelda today. I'm going back in here just to see if I missed anything. I would assume it's not... It, it would have to be from above, but... I just don't see a clear way to get there. Or is this a, a thing where maybe I don't have what's required to get up there first? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The first time I came here, they said no bears allowed. What if it's just a case of I, that's the reason I'm the termite? Okay, you know what, that, that might, that, that tracks, that makes sense. But I went in there as a termite and nothing happened. I will try to get to Elden today, I just, again, <laughs> distracted by so much different things on the way there. It is my goal to get to Elden, at the very least today. I mean, okay, I can see the advantage that it's easy to run up hills and stuff. You went to Elden to try and find the musician people ended up embroiled in the main quest. <laughs> it happens. 
Well, I'm, I mean, I'm here. Am I getting hot or cold in terms of figuring out how to get to the top here? Ah, okay. Camera's changing. That's a good sign. <laughs> I'm just worried I'm gonna slip, but I think you don't. Let's see. Oof, the jumping is a bit... It's a little bit floaty. Can I make this camera better? Not really. Okay, that's no, fine. Yeah, this is it. This is it. We're good. Hey! Where did you get those shorts? I want them. Okay, this is why I'm a termite. All is right in the world. Give me that cool backpack, or else. So, termites are just assholes. It's, that's the lore of the game. None of them are nice, even to their own kind. Aha! Still missing a ginger. If I'm not wrong. I'm missing a ginger and there's a puzzle piece. They asked for blue balls, but I haven't seen any blue balls. Unless they mean eggs. Do they mean eggs? They might mean eggs. That would also make sense. Got to sleep. No worries, Clival. Thank you so much for the raid and for popping in. Have a good rest of your night. Yes, blue balls. That's verbatim what they asked for. It's a children's game. Hey. You. <laughs> Turn me back. Sounds very Crash Bandicoot-like. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting to happen there. Okay, I mean, I... Do I have to do it from a distance, maybe? I feel like that's gonna miss. Oops, wrong button. Someone's inner child is gonna be screaming right now. Correct angle. No. <laughs> okay, that it's not this, so what is it what does it want? Just 
I love murdering that thing. <sighs> I, I guess termite time again. I can't think of anything else. I wouldn't call the termite a blue ball. Okay, so the termite can climb in the mouth. I have no clue about this one. Termites can- what? Termites can breathe on the water? Okay. That makes less sense. And have no gravity, apparently. Is this a bug or is this intended? And I don't mean is the termite a bug, I mean is <laughs> the termite not responding to water physics a bug? Okay, the only other thing I haven't ah! done is deal with this bull. Maybe that's something. But I mean, otherwise, I I'm not sure. I'm still missing a ginger. This definitely feels like what it is. Whilst it might not control the same, it's definitely in the spirit of the games of this era. see anything else but I'm I'm missing five notes and I'm missing a ginger it's almost like I've missed an entire area somewhere anything bonus here? There's eggs. Okay, hang on. There's eggs on the ceiling. How do I get up there? Why are there eggs on the ceiling? Okay, that's a bad move. Hang on. There's a post here. Okay. Okay, 
It doesn't really help. Guess that's it. Okay. Thanks, pal. Uh I don't I don't know. Okay, I got up here, but I don't think this is anything. I wonder if I can make the jump. Not, not long enough. And there was talk about like a muse a, a door with notes. I haven't seen a door with notes. I'll have one more look, but I think I might exit the stage. If I'm not driving people insane. supposed to be doing anything with this cow. Bull. How's it going so far? It's going okay. I'm just missing a ginger and five musical notes, but I'm not sure where else. Oh, and the, uh, the totem pole that was asking for balls, but I still don't know what that means. I haven't seen anything. I tried shooting an egg into it. It didn't work. Maybe this is just one of these things that I have to come back to the stage later, because I don't see anything else. The totem pole is finicky, but am I right in saying that shooting eggs into it is what it wants? I was right with the eggs, okay. It felt like that was the answer, but... Try again. Guess I just gotta get the camera correct. Okay, that looks about right. What? Stand in front of it. Oh, that works. But I tried crapping an egg into it just out of a. as a joke. But it didn't work. Ah. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Okay. So... There's five notes missing and a ginger missing. No, I haven't broken the little hearts. I didn't know you could. Oh, really? Did I just screw myself? Uh, does it reset if I go in here? Let's see. 
Otherwise, I'll just have to come back for it. Nope. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's all the notes, and I assume a ginger is in here. It's no biggie to come back in then and get that. Found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. I'm the arsehole here. <laughs> I'm breaking this this creature's house. They they are right to be angry. And then the last one is at the entry of the stage. Oh no! Or oh, it's here. Yeah, that means I've done well. Except this. <laughs> that, oh, that bothers me, but okay. So I, I am impressed with its control scheme. I mean, given a lot of games from this era did not do well with 3D control schemes. Okay, there's now 100. Uh... Now oh, come on, you can get up there. Nah. I thought running up it would be the correct answer. It's alright, I'll get it later. I'm sure. I'm just get back in here and do this. I kind of assumed everything would reset, so... Blue stones. <laughs> okay, let's just not overdo it. Just leave one, okay. Alright, we're done. I've been playing this game for over an hour. <laughs> Let me have a look. I mean, looking at the geometry, it almost looks like I should be able to do it. Is it possible to leave as a termite and then come back in? Hang on, let's see. Or do I have to- ugh, do I have to get the mumbo things again? I'll go see. Hmm. 
Do I, do I have to? Okay, good. Just happens. Just go turn back. Uh, if you walk too far away, it automatically turns back. Okay. Well, too late now. <laughs> I may as well just... That's fine. Full damage. Just curious. Um, there's no save and continue, there's save and quit. But I should definitely periodically save. I'm gonna do that now. Because I am playing this on cartridge and I worry that I might bump it. Do I, no, I need full power? What is this? Yes, your grunt ship. Transformation soon to be complete. Hi Banjo, I feel all funny. Bear and bird finish, Grunty wins. Oh, okay. Look at Grunty, she's a beauty. I'm um, much prettier than Tootie. Oh, you are a mistress. <laughs> the fuck is this? Grunty, nice, come back to Mumbo Skull, yes? Oh, okay. Banjo, your sister wants a word with you. Now. Wait a minute, I got a game over for saving the game? What is this? Does this seriously expect you to do this in one sitting? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it in one sitting. I'm gonna be saving. That's so weird. That is very odd. Oh, there's the door. I see. No, oh, it doesn't save the lives I have either. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it, then jam jars. 
It's not that simple. To open it, you must have collected the musical notes from the world. I did! How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Your butt will tell you and you'll know when my boot swings to and fro. So the lives are basically pointless. <laughs> if it's going to erase them. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. <laughs> this is Kazooie's shock jump j disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to use it. Okay. Oh, that's probably going further. No, let's just do the next stage. <laughs> to remove pieces that you have already, put down and press the C down button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Yeah, I don't. it's fine. We'll be fine with that. That's a concern for people that aren't getting everything. So it's fine. Okay. Hang on a sec, chat. My headset's being weird. Just give me a minute. I think it's doing this thing where it's not detecting the battery, even though I have charged it. I'll just swap it out for the other one, because it's... Should be charged now. Yeah, I detected it as flat, but it wasn't, so... Oh, no, no, okay. It's doing this one as flat, too. That's cool. Ah, uh, I'll just have to plug in the cable. I like this headset, but it has random issues with the battery. I don't know, it, it picks up like it's not charged at all, but then it is. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> it's the second time I've fallen for that, I've gone to the painting instead. Like as if it's Mario 64. Wait, but where's the... the chest that I saw open? Or is it in another room? Wait, who are you? Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear. Okay. Grunty's br Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. Oh. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. <laughs> it's just, uh. So, just shit-talking the sister. I thought it was gonna be real advice into how to beat her, but no, this is just, like, gossip. Hmm. 
can see I've gone further up. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's not that. Where the fuck is the treasure chest? <laughs> I saw it open. Am I being an idiot? I'm being an idiot, aren't I? Cannon. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Oh. Wow, you're even here in the, uh, the overworld. The other one was super obvious, it was... I put the piece in, and then just walk to the side. This one, I saw a chest open, but I don't see where the chest is. down there. What the heck? <laughs> Where is this treasure chest? I saw the stage open up, but I don't know where it is. Just the cauldron thing. Alright, I guess I'll go onwards. Unless I've missed the obvious, this was not very intuitive of, of where it was. gets the eggs. Where 
where is here? Oh, it's another puzzle piece thing. Where's the actual spot, though? We're <laughs> waiting in the loft. Okay, okay. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Jelly Belly at which school? I also know that putrid parrot puke is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is... Wait, what? I pressed it too quickly. Gruesome green, okay. Well, I don't know. If I'm overcomplicating it or what, but I just I did not see the treasure chest world open up. Okay, where is here? Oh here yeah, okay. It's here. It's, yeah, I don't like that. It being so far away from the the puzzle piece that I put in. I don't know. I guess I'm comparing it to Mario 64 where it's just, yeah, the painting's there. Jump in. This is the painting's there. Oh, the, the actual stage is like ages away. Especially since the first one was in such close proximity to the puzzle. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. Okay. Alright, but now I know. Finally! Oh, hi there, this be Treasure Trove Cove. There'll be two new moves for you to find. I do like the music in this game so far, though. It's very happy. What an asshole. <laughs> oh, it just vanishes into thin air. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can do this. Cool. Phantom shock. Love that. Ginger! <laughs> Get the ginger. Dude. 
Oh, this thing's such... An... Okay, come on. Ah, oh, 3D! <laughs> Getting it. Got it. Out. Out. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just... <sighs> These early 3D games. Hey, this nipper beach. You find nothing without... Okay. Help us. Then frustration brain. Ah, cheeky bird, need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, shellhead. Damn it, Kazooie, you're just getting us into shit. Feeble eggs, no match for shell armor. Into your mouth! Okay, it doesn't work. Ooh. They're going to transform into a crab this time. <laughs> I can't get up here. See, I was going to ground pound the... Uh-oh, not good. Alright, strategic retreat. What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me be no... Okay, yeah. Do I have to do everything? I have to do everything again. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I have to get this again. Got it. Get out. Get out. Ugh. Okay. Your games from this era really did not care about your progression and saving it. I do like seeing people that never played these games try to play them later and then just. I guess the shock that their progress isn't saved. It is pretty amusing to see that. What is this? What is the point of the backwards one? <laughs> Other than to just be comical, like... <laughs> does, it, does it ever have some utility? I mean, I'm sure it does eventually, but right now... It seems like a joke attack. That is a, uh, a landmine. Oh, come on. I'm not doing well with the note collecting. <laughs> I passed my best score. <laughs> well done. <laughs> You'll have to find my molehill before. Okay, we can't use it yet. Oh shit! No! Oh, no! 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 Get out! Out! Oh, I'm, oh, I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. <laughs> okay. 
you know what? Blessing in disguise. I, I guess I got something out of that. What's this boat called? The Salty Hippo. Oh, there we go. This is the molehill I was looking for. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bug eyes. Simple enough, even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't read the last sentence. Okay, where are we going? Over there. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> Whoops! You know what? It, it's fine. I'm still on the tower. Oh. Do I have to land here? Follow the clue if you're looking for gold. Okay, let's drop here. Oops. Looks suspicious. Oh, camera! <laughs> My God. Okay, it's just more feathers. wants to jump in there, but another part is just like, that's probably death if I do. This is a bad idea. I mean, I, I gotta try. Oh! No, hey! It's a good idea. Okay. Well, now I know. Uh oh, get out, get out. Uh -huh. 
Oh no! Okay, so it's okay. Right, so I need to do the same here. I mean, this looks sinister. Okay, it does hurt you, but still. Give health, please. from above. Ooh. What? <laughs> Doesn't work. Okay, well, I, I had to try. I just thought slam into it and break its shell. Okay, careful not to touch the thing. Mess that up. It's okay. It's gone now. I can get this in peace. over there. <laughs> Coffee and mints. <laughs> Is that shark supposed to be... I mean, I got the feeling the shark is British. I don't know why. Coffee and mints. I suppose it could have been like tea and biscuits, but it's not. and biscuits. Yeah, see, that's British, but is coffee and mints also British? It just seems like a pairing that would be very British. I just, I feel like they're associated somehow. Okay, next ability. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Just simply stand on a shock jump disc. <laughs> mm. 
Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Nice going. You've learned all the Cove's new moves. Okay, well, quote, tea and biscuits, end quote. Is that better? I don't know. Wait, is... Hold on. Oh, yeah, so Rare is British. Yeah, okay, so the developers of this game are British. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, fancy a bit of tea and biscuits. Coffee and mints. Can't do a British accent. I mean, if you want tea and biscuits, have them. Look, nice snacks for. Oh, hey! You an egg thief? with help here. Aren't I always doing a British accent? No. It's like... The Australian accent that's not quite completely like... Yeah, I'm gonna talk out my noise like this, yeah. you. That sounds American. I, I don't know. I don't think it is. If I was trying to do an American accent, it would sound Southern. Because just, I, I don't know. I guess I need to learn the nuances of how to do the accent properly, which I'm sure I could. Leaky, no good for water, can bear block hole with pedal. Pedal? Leaky patched up now. <laughs> Cause Zoe just took a crap in a bucket and now it's it's all good. <laughs> hey Laura. I have never played this, no. I never I don't didn't have a Nintendo 64 growing up. But now I've got my N64 modified so it can connect through HDMI. What's this? Hoax. Dumb. What? What 
What is this? Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. Oh. Okay. I kind of got it. B. A. There's a J. There's no J. Oh no, it's a. Uh, it just looked like an I. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to s okay. Dickhead crab. I found many gingos on the stage. I'll look. What is that sound? Oh, this <laughs> idiot. That's the get out. Ugh, it's a little annoying. Okay, I'm on the floor now. Yeah, it's just a tight space. What is that? Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. Another collectible. Looks like that's it. There's another entry somewhere else, so we'll go look for it. be half of me gold. Oh, you're sad because your gold's missing. Okay, I see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Where's the other entry then? I'm so bad at these controls. Hang on. Surface! Surface! I do feel a bit of pressure because if I die, it's going to undo everything. Don't want that to happen. Oh, good. Be happy. Me treasure. Thank ye, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Why? It's... When they talk to me, they just belch. I really have not done much of this stage. this island. This inconspicuous island. The sign that I was trying to get to earlier. Oh wait, no, there's no point in getting these. I'm already at max capacity. almost two-thirds of the way through the notes, so... I just haven't found much else. Jeez, I barely made that. Ah! Get back! 
Okay, now I'll go. I feel like I'm about to go off an edge. I, I panic jump. <laughs> so, it's a common thing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey, Gammy, what's up? I'm going to assume this is something I should do right now whilst I have feathers. Highest point. Let's go. Yeah. Good. Uh, if you haven't played this before, it's an old Nintendo 64 game. The X is over there. Hello. It's gonna be outside somewhere. Well, excuse me for trying to use the door. Like a normal person. Suppose bears can't open doors. Just eggs. Okay. Oh, there's a ginger on that one. Okay. Careful. I saw a third one below, so... Where was the treasure spot? I saw it. Did I just go through this in reverse? Oh no, okay. This is an entry. I guess I kind of skipped the whole thing, huh? And just went straight up. There. Hmm. 
Chin jar. They kind of brought it upon themselves to be there. feeling it's going to land on that island. <laughs> Just the sound of pain from Banjo, it sounds like a Ray Romano thing. Oh, Deborah! Nasally and whiny. It's a Ray Romano special. <laughs> You'll never find me now. What? Mystery. Or a Barney Gumble. Yo, Din Jinjo. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, did I really just do that? gonna cause people's inner childs to depart their bodies. <laughs> Alright, one more, one more, one more. We can do this. Got it. One more. I'm getting the hang of it. What? Hey. There we go. Okay. Another one. Uh, I guess I'll go get the feathers. Have I been inside this chest? It would appear so. I see it. Hurry up! Father! Please, no death. Please, no death. Get out of the water. <laughs> if I die, I have to do all of this again. I'm not letting that happen. Brutal 90s game. Yeah. 
Yikes, please open me gently. Gently. Still got a bit more to do. There's a sign over there. What have I got left? I have 15 puzzle pieces. Oh, sorry, 15 musical notes left and a Jinjo somewhere. I have shit in the bucket, so. The, I guess the only other thing that I haven't resolved yet is this crab. The eggs don't work. Hmm. Yeah, still not quite sure. Wait, what is that noise? Still not 100% certain how to deal with it. I'll try getting to that aisle. Ah! <laughs> I tried shooting an egg at it, but it called my eggs weak. Over there. Assuming that's anything. It's not, it just says the island name. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna try and get sweep this. So I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. It's just a life. Why did I do it? It's not worth it. That was not worth it. Okay. I'm just going to look elsewhere now. I got to figure out how to beat this crab. Feeble eggs, no match for Nipper's shell armor. Yeah, hitting it doesn't work. Hmm. I don't want to risk it because the worst possible outcome is just having to do all this again. I don't want to do that.
Oh, there's not. I haven't found, uh... Yeah, I haven't found you. Oh, piss off. Really? Spawn directly in front of me. Spawn directly in front of me. I've been up that mountain. Been in that chest. I think where else I haven't been. Maybe flying around's a good idea. There's just one. Okay, it's just drop. Can I climb this? I can. Alright, that's fine. Okay. I gotta go inside this one now without messing it up. This big run Tilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. I don't want to touch her booty. I'm good. <laughs> Jeez. What's it? That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still. The game will be. Okay, there's, there's, there's just a problem now. And that's water. We're okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so... I guess the only other thing I need to do is try and beat the crab, but I have no idea how. Everything else, I, th I think we're good. Ah, oh, I see that. Okay. I haven't run into him yet, though. I would assume there's one more. Oh, you know what? I bet his power is what we need to beat the crab. I should go try and find him. That would make sense. Here again. What the? I don't know then. No! Oh, no! 
Careful, careful, careful. I have to kill these things without dying. Okay. <laughs> I give hell. Hmm. What have I missed? This is nothing. See that life and the notes. I see the last, some of the last notes. Okay, so eight remain. looking around seeing if there's anything I haven't grabbed. There's a lone box over there. I think I grabbed, no, that was, uh, I know what that was, I already grabbed it. So I guess the only thing I'm missing is just one skull and then figure out how to transform. I would imagine that's the secret to beating the crab. be like one small area I've missed. Maybe I have to hit him directly. Let's try this. 
Oh, this is not good. Uh, I'm gonna run out of health. I've tried everything with this. It just doesn't seem to do anything. Do I have to do this again? Oh, that's so annoying. You know, I'm gonna go there first this time. I've tried everything with this. going for the middle. Ah, that's all it is. Okay. That is so disappointing that I have to do all this again now. last few nights in here. Yeah. Okay, well, at least I know all the notes are were in here. to do everything again. That was where the, the piece was, so I got that already. I just thought maybe I had to get them again, but I guess not. So at least it saved that. enjoying this so far. It's just, man, if you die, it's, it is brutal. But that's okay. I grew up with <laughs> games such as did not give a crap about saving progression. I have patience. Woo! 
This should be straightforward, because now I know where everything's at, more or less. Okay, so the puzzle piece is done, so I don't have to do it again. So I guess just let's just collect the notes. Start from up high. So worthy. Ow! Shit, I need to go back up there. I just noticed something. Here first. Ginger. I mean, I'm going to assume I should just collect them again. Good shortcut. Already a almost halfway. Uh, some of these had notes, I can't remember which ones. Really? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh oh. Camera, no. How did that not let me get in? There we go. Uh, 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. I don't know how I did not manage to get in there the first time. Yeah, I'm not so interested in that. I did not notice the ladder. Oh, that's ten. I got them all. Okay, now I just finished getting the note block. Uh, note blocks. N <laughs> notes, just notes. Ow! Did that work? Yes. Visit the uh, the bucket. Oh, there's nothing in here. What? Like? Okay. No, this was a bad idea. Get out. Just feathers. the bucket <laughs> so dumb <laughs> uh. oh see there's a smart way of doing that draining it so then the landmine just explodes
course, it's not letting me back up here easily. Uh, I can use fly at worst comes to worst, I guess. There's nothing in here, right? It's just crab. Just crab. Oh wait, notes. Ooh. Hey, 84. Hey, Colin, how's it going? How's the weekend treating ya? Alright, this thing. Get away! Just woke up getting coffee. Ah, oh, nice. Well, I just shit in a bucket as a bear, so... My Saturday night's complete. Just that. <laughs> I had to shit in a bucket. As a bear. Like, what's happening in the game? I mean, okay, I had to drop an... Does this not look like... I mean, come on. Well, I had to, yeah. Like, to... To train it. Jeez, imagine if I was talking about real life there, just the confusion. Yes, I had to dress up as a bear and go shit in a bucket. Five more notes to go. I think I know where they are, so we're good. I just need the power of flight, which is over here. How am I liking the game so far? It's fun! I mean, I like the camera controls for its era, like, it's one of the better ones. It's just, uh, I think the part where you die and you have to do most things again is very brutal, but... I mean, that's... that's this era. But I'm happy that this, this uh, Nintendo 64 hookup is working pretty well. Just pretty good picture. directly above it. It's a normal Saturday night for some people. What is? Playing this game? Or what are we talking about here? Dressing up as a bear and shitting in a bucket. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm not one to judge, so... Whatever floats your boat. Tickles your fancy. 
Whatever, giblets, you niblets. But see, I feel like there's there's one puzzle piece missing, right? Or am I wrong? I got 17, there was 10 in the previous one. Am I wrong here? I'm trying to think, like I got one out of the treasure chest. I'll have a look around the map and see if I can spot anything. <laughs> what if there's one at the bottom here? Hang on. Didn't really look at this properly. Aha! Okay. Oh, there we go. That's nine. One more. One more. One more. Okay, so what else haven't I looked? are just feathers, I think. Oh, it's another skull. Okay. No! Ah. Maybe I should dive to the bottom of each of these pools. still raining. Yeah, it's still miserable here. I mean, I didn't just kind of cleaned up around the house. Nothing exciting. <laughs> it's just, well, if it's going to be miserable, I guess I may as well get stuff out of the way. So that's all I, I've done today. I did catch up with a friend, and tomorrow I'm catching up with my brother, but outside of that, not a whole lot going on. Okay, that's not a puzzle piece. Ah, shit! I'm gonna play Zelda soon. Probably the easiest way to spot stuff out. That's your plan to just do stuff around the house, I assume. And do blood donation stuff. Where is...
There's 10 per level, so there's one that I've missed somewhere. I'm looking very carefully. I haven't played this game before, so I'm not sure what I'm looking for. But I'm hoping with the power of flight I can spot stuff out. I think I've gotten this one before. What is this? Yeah, I've got this one. What have I missed? I haven't found, um, the skull dude on this map. Like, maybe that's it. Because when you get the last puzzle piece, Banjo does like a special little thing, so... Uh, what? Am I stuck? So finicky. <laughs> I've collected all the jingos, right? So it's not a Jingo one. Every Saturday is a cleaning day, get to vacuum and dust, so much fun. Yeah, I mean... It's just... I, I, I don't know what to tell you, I had to do the same thing, it's just... It is what it is. I just throw music on and just get it done, and then just chill afterwards. Yeah, that's just being an adult. It's probably somewhere where I'm haven't gone yet. Unless I'm fooling myself. But I'm assuming there's 10 per stage, so... Or is this last one? Aha! There it is. Alright. There we go, finally. So what was the correct way to do this? Platforming? Oh yeah, I never would have seen this. Coffee and mints. That has to be a British thing. Especially since Rare is a British developer. This is just a shark's version of tea and biscuits, coffee and mints.
You beat the first boss? Wait, what the fuck? Why am I down here? <laughs> How'd you uh, find the fight? Get juked. Get stuck. Get juked. quicker to move around with. Ran out of arrows because you sucked. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't need arrows to fight it. You can use your sword. Okay, and now let's just... <laughs> Tenacity, you didn't think to use the sword. What'd you use, Ben? Just keep, uh... Trying until you didn't run out of arrows? Apparently you can also just dive through it, which, yeah. Okay. Wait, what is... Can I go in here? What is this? Oh, I think this is how I got in here in the first place. It's okay. Cut and you get here in the faster. Come and fight me. I'm the master. Oh man, this rhyming. Okay. The one thing I will say about this game, this is weird, is save and quit makes you game over. Like, it's just, no, you're, you're quitting, that's it. The bad guy wins. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. That will do it for Banjo-Kazooie for now. I will pick it up again tomorrow, and we'll do more of it, but this has been fun. I am enjoying it so far. And, uh, yeah, this is playing pretty well on this... This HDMI mod for the N64. It's cool. Alright, chat, I'm gonna take, like, a two to five minute break, and then we're gonna... play more Tears of the Kingdom, so... Just give me a couple of minutes to get organized. And, uh, yeah, we'll continue. But, if you're watching later on YouTube, and we're watching Banjo-Kazooie. This is where I say bye, YouTube, but hope you have been enjoying this playthrough so far and consider doing fun algorithm stuff and the clicking of buttons if you want to support what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, we'll do more.